Skyrim is a game that I'm sure you've all heard of. It's a special one, that's for sure. Seemingly overflowing with constant things to do, it seems to be like one of those games that gamers can always come back to time and time again and still discover something new about it. Games such as this come very few and far between, making this a true staple in gaming history. Oh, goodness. Skyrim is an open-world fantasy RPG that was released November 11, 2011 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Three DLC packs were released, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn, which were later all put together in the Legendary Edition on June 4, 2013. Skyrim was made by Bethesda, who also made games such as Fallout 3 and 4, The Evil Within, and the one that everyone remembers, Home Alone on the NES. No one? J just me? Uh, I mean, that's, that's good because, I mean, look at it. <laughs> Skyrim takes place 200 years after the events of Oblivion. The High King of Skyrim is dead due to a duel with the leader of the Stormcloaks, Ulfric Stormcloak. There is a civil war raging between the two factions of the Stormcloaks and the Imperial Legion. The game starts with you, the player, being led to your execution. You look around, waiting for something interesting to happen. And then... Oh my god! A dragon! The dragon named Alduin ravages the town before you can be killed. You escape the town and travel to Riverwood, where they are terrified that Alduin could attack their village as well. Honestly, it's a pretty good reaction to the situation at hand. Later, after the player slays a dragon in the town of Whiterun and randomly absorbs its soul like any normal person, you gain the ability to shout. Shouting is basically what it sounds like. There are lots of different ones to learn, such as Unrelenting Force, which you just witnessed, and well, it certainly is unrelenting, so it, it, it gets a pass. And Whirlwind Sprint. Whoosh. <laughs> there are also shouts used to call the dragons that you befriended along your adventure. They're useful, like, once. After that, they just fly around you in the sky. Thanks for nothing! And of course, absorbing the soul of a dragon means you must be a dragonborn. A mortal born with the soul and power of a dragon. Which I admittedly find odd, because you had to absorb the soul of a dragon to get the powers, or maybe that's the power. Eh, who knows. I know, and yes, that is the power. You use the souls sort of like a currency, but only to land shouts as long as you've read the theme for it on a word ball. Anyway. It's been estimated by Bethesda that the main questline in Skyrim takes about 30 hours to complete and additional quests given to you by the lazy characters from all over Skyrim, such as exploring dungeons and retrieving slash delivering stuff and such, take up to 300 hours. Guess who won't have a life anymore? That's right, but at least the lack of life we'll have after playing Skyrim will be an interesting one full of memes and stuff, if that counts as interesting. So what does one do during these 300 hours? That's a good question. There's so much to do, like riding a horse up a mountain, because, you know, gravity's just not a thing throw vegetables at people, hitting store signs, killing people, and random animals such as bird woman things called hag ravens. What a swell name. And ugly people called Falmer. They're not really people, but they used to be. The game kind of tells you all about them, and it's really kind of interesting. You can forge armor and weapons and improve them. If you get the DLCs, then you can also build a house of your own and adopt children. These children all have the same face, and it's really creepy. You can play games with these creepy children, and if they offer you and you say no, they insult you. How nice. Amidst all the chaos, this game offers a completely accurate representation of children in modern society. Skyrim is full of short stories within the questline, such as a woman who went to a dangerous cave to get rich for her and her husband, without telling him. He thought she left him, and he turned to drinking. You discover, through a note she wrote, that she ended up dying in that cave. You can give this note to the husband so he may have closure and stop being a drunk. Now that's what I call a romance. All joking aside, I really do think this is a fantastically made game. I mean, look at the graphics, and compared to Oblivion's graphics... It's honestly beautiful. 
And with all the emotional stories Bethesda throws in, the Dark Brotherhood questline being my favorite, and vast array of things to do, I can't even express my love for this game. Like, I literally can't even. It's by far my favorite game, and I can't wait for future Elder Scrolls games. To wrap it all up, if you haven't played Skyrim, I bet you know someone who owns a copy. Even if they play it or not, somebody has a copy, and it's up to you to steal it through other means, or just buy one. But, you, you know, you, you can steal it. I, I won't judge you. Uh, out loud. 